we are back and we have another grant. And this grant is for $150,000. $150,000. So you're probably going to have to do a little bit more work than you would normally do for other grant opportunities. But this grant is also a global opportunity. I've had requests for different grants in Africa specifically. So if you're watching this video, this opportunity is for you. As always, if you get anything of value out of this video, beginning, middle, end, like, share, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Turn on your notification bell because again, some of these grants have very tight deadlines. And if your bell is off, you're not going to know as soon as it drops. But of course, if you would like to support the channel, come on over to the Patreon and you will get access to these grants sooner than YouTube. But on top of that, I post several other grants over there as well. So let me just show you all what it looks like. In now, I know this says that it is locked. However, once you subscribe and become a member, all of this will be unlocked and you'll be able to see exactly what the $75,000 grant opportunity is for. And then there's just several other grants in here, of course, and there's cohorts. I do state specific. I do region specific. I do industry specific. You can leave comments, ask questions, all of that. But there's that. I don't want to waste too much of your time because I know I'm going to see you all on the other side because you want to support this channel so I can continue to provide these free opportunities on YouTube. Let's talk about this grant because it's a lot going on. Now, there's several different regions for this grant. I'm going to be speaking specifically to the U.S., but the requirements are essentially the same. You will just have to make sure you select the correct region. Re You'll just have to make sure that you select the correct region when you get ready to apply for the grant. So the main requirements for this grant is that you're based out of the U.S. for the U.S. region, but then also you must have 30% ownership by either an African-American or Latina. Now we got to talk about the deadline. The deadline is March the 26th. I will say that the things that they are asking is not anything that hasn't been asked before. I think the one item is a pitch deck. The pitch deck has been requested in previous grant applications. There is a sample pitch deck inside of the Patreon. If you don't have the time to create one, you also are going to have to really know your financials because if you don't know your financials for this particular opportunity, you're not going to be eligible. They also say specifically that if you are pre-revenue, that you are not a good candidate for this opportunity. They are looking for companies that have less than $5 million in revenue that are post revenue and have, you know, a steady stream of income that is coming in from their business. So that's something that you want to think about if you're just starting up and you don't have income coming in or revenue coming in, I wouldn't recommend applying for this specific application. However, they do have other opportunities for assistance, i.e. mentorship that I'm going to show you all on their website as well. And that's pretty much the basics. But now I want to get into the actual grant so we can look at that and go through the application. And then the, the other things that you're going to get outside of your $150,000, they give you mental health. Okay, hey, mental health counseling, assistance, support. You get $100,000 worth of Google cloud credits. You get mentorship from Googlers is what they're called. And if you haven't figured out, Google is definitely sponsoring this particular grant. And with that, let's look at the grant. All right, so the grant is the Black Founders Fund, which is sponsored by Google. And as you can see, you're going to get $150,000 on top of $100,000 in Google Cloud credits. 
And as I said, there's different regions. So you have Africa, you have Europe, you have Brazil. And then we get into the application. There's other countries that you can select as well. And then applications due March the 26th. And we're going to apply here. And you're going to put in your email address in order for you to be able to move forward in the application process. And then I highly recommend clicking on this link. And I'm going to click here first, just so you can see everything that's in here. It literally talks about everything that they expect from the application. But at the end of it is where I'm trying to go. They have all of these different resources. So this is you know, where you can build your online presence and find new customers. They have job seekers and students section. So I highly recommend coming here and then, you know, click here for more information because again, mentorship is sometimes better than the money. So if you don't get the grant, I still would look at these other opportunities that they are offering back to the application. And then you're just going to put in your name. You're going to put in your country in order to get to the application. One thing I will say is you cannot save. I did not see an option to save. And then on top of that, if there are discrepancies, you are not able to edit your application once you've submitted it. They will ask you, do you want to consent to provide some additional information, which is going to be your background, you know, if you're Black, if you're Latina, all of that stuff, I'm just going to skip that so we can go through the application. You know, if you click yes, you'll answer those questions before you get to the application. What I would like to communicate to you all are some of the things that they said were the best practices when you are completing this application. The best answers are going to be specific, concise, and straight to the point. They also want you to point out what is unique about your solution and why your team is best suited to create it. They stated, we know there will be obstacles. But be clear about your obstacles and how you will overcome them. And then take a holistic approach to completing the application. Paint the whole picture of your startup, your team, and what you are building. And then clearly articulate the why. So they want to know why you're doing what you're doing. And they want you to be clear and concise in doing that. That's with the written portion of the application. They have different best practices for the video portion, which your video cannot be longer than three minutes. And then you must upload that to YouTube and categorize it as unlisted. So then they would have access to that link that you sent to them. Similar thing, they want the answers to be concise, but then they have questions that they want you to answer in a specific order. First, tell us your founding story. Second, tell us about a recent milestone that your startup has hit. Third, what is a priority milestone for the next six months? And fourth, what type of support would be beneficial to receive from Google for startups to hit that milestone? And then they said, we want to start getting to know you. So make sure your personality and story shines through. And then if they can't view your video, unfortunately, your application will not be considered. And then they gave you best practices for the pitch deck, which of course there is a sample pitch deck inside of the Patreon if you wanna hop on in there and get that. And then it must be shared via, via a Google Drive link. The pitch deck must be in a PDF format, 10 to 15 slides, and then you must address what problem are you solving, your target market, who are your competitors, and what is your competitive advantage, Overview of demonstrated traction within the last year. Who is your team and what expertise do they have that enables the startup to succeed? Why now? And why do you want to work with Google? And then team description. You must include the team member's name, description, and roles. And they want to know what experience each person has and why they are on your team, not just their job title. And then your business metrics, your year to date should be the last 12 months of revenue. And then if you are identified as a finalist, they will ask for your cash flow statement and other information as well. All right, now back to the application. You acknowledge, but then the acknowledgements are you identify as Black and or Latino founder, acknowledge that 30% or more of the business is Black owned at the time of the application, which is different because most of these require 51% ownership. So this one is requiring a small percentage ownership by a minority. 
The startup is established within the United States, and then all the information you input, including revenue and funding raised, is accurate, and that the startup is post-revenue, because if you are pre-revenue, you are not a good applicant. All right. So then they need your phone number, what best describes you. There's a drop-down option for that. What is your employment status? What is your prior startup experience? Are you a veteran? And then if you have a co-founder, you're gonna put their information here. And then the video introduction, which we mentioned earlier, the requirements for that. So making sure that it's less than 10 minutes. I'm sorry, not 10 minutes, y'all. You won't get the application, you won't get the grant. We talked about this earlier, making sure that it is less than three minutes. And then again, it gives you the same information that we talked about earlier, what the requirements are. So definitely make sure you read this. And interestingly enough, they gave you the asterisk here to say, please read is not in bold, but obviously they expect that you're going to be reading the application in, in its entirety. A link to a recent pitch deck, which we talked about what those requirements are as well, making sure that it's no more than 15 slides. All that information is reiterated here and then making sure that it is uploaded to YouTube. But here, if you need assistance with your video, if you copy this link, it will show you step-by-step -step on how to upload the video in the correct format that they're looking for. And then are you, a, I mean, about your startup. And then about your startup, your name, website, when was the company founded? And then this is just basic information about your company. Industry, headquartered where, the state, country, et cetera. Product or service description, please keep to two to three sentences maximum. Concise, concise, concise. That is your best friend. That is gonna be your new favorite word. Plaster it all over whenever you are applying for grants. Please be concise. What stage is your product or service at? Idea, prototype, officially launch, launch with traction and customers focus on scaling. Now, although they give you all these opportunities and these options, as we mentioned earlier, they're looking for a company that is launched with traction and customers. And then product or service demo, please include a link to your demo and ensure it is viewable. And then what is your startup's main technology? And then they give you these options, blockchain, chatbot, chatbot, hardware, and you can just pick which one, marketplace, et cetera. There's, and then there's an other, if none of that is applicable to you. And then more about your business metrics, how many co-founders, and then the founding team overview. As we discussed earlier, they want more than just their name and titles. They wanna know what expertise do they bring to the table? Why was this person selected to be a part of the team? How many people does your startup employ who, who identify as women? How many people does your startup employ who identify as non-binary? And then what makes your team uniquely positioned to enabling your startup success? Three to four sentences. Again. <laughs> what is your revenue status at the time of this application? Pre or post? As we said earlier, they're definitely looking for post-revenue. And then please describe your startup's revenue model. So is it business to business, which that is conducted between companies rather than between a company and an individual. So if you're somebody that only sells wholesale to other businesses, then you're going to be business to business, business to customer, as it sounds, you sell to the general public. So therefore, that will be your model. Ads based is going to be digital businesses that generate income from advertising sales. So businesses will allow advertisers to place ads on their website or apps in exchange for payment. Affiliate based, you're based off a of commission and resale of items. Subscription, as it sounds, customers pay a fee on a regular basis to get access to your product and then other, whatever that other could be. And then what is your startup's monthly revenue. They want to know that. And then what is your total revenue over the last six months? You would have that. Your startup's annual revenue in 2022. And then what was your average revenue growth month over month over the last six months? If you look at the bottom, they say specifically, please note, if you are identified as a finalist, there is a possibility we will ask 
for your cash flow statement to verify. What is your strategy to accelerate your revenue growth? And then since it was founded, how much funding has your startup raised? And then who are your current investors? If you have any, you can put NA if you don't have anyone. And then has your startup raised funding from any of the following resources? There is an option to say that you haven't raised capital. So the raising of capital is not a requirement of this grant. If your startup has not raised money, do you have plans to begin fundraising? So you can say yes, no. What is your current startup runway? Less than a month, et cetera. What is your current burn rate? And then tell us more about how you're using Google products to support your startup. And if you're not using Google, there is an option where they ask you, okay, if, what are you using? And then what Google Cloud product functionality do you plan to adopt in the next six months? And then if you are not currently leveraging Google Cloud services, who is your provider? If you are using Google Ads, please include your external customer account number. And then what Google Ad products functionality do you plan to adopt in the next six months? And then this is for individuals. If you have an app, you'll complete this section. And then here they want to know more about your goals for the next six months, your primary growth goal, your business goal. And again, two to three sentences maximum, concise, concise, concise. <laughs> and then if you receive the money, how do you plan to use it? And they want you to tell them to a T. So it said, they even give you an example. 50% to leverage your digital marketing to reach this audience, 30% to bring our head of engineering on full-time, 20% for reserves. What type of support would you want from Google for startups to meet your primary business objective? How did you hear about the program? My YouTube channel. And then what is the name of the organization that referred you? My YouTube channel. <laughs> what is the name of the person? Ebony Dion. And then please list any organizations that you are affiliated with. And then is there anything else you would like to share that has not been covered? And then to what extent do you agree? At my startup, we believe the importance of building inclusive teams and products. Now, if y'all select strongly disagree, and I don't want y'all to lie to these people now, but if you're selecting strongly disagree, I don't know if you're going to get this grant, okay? Okay. And then they want to know, how can you contribute to the success of other startups in your cohort? So this is not just about you. They want to know, what do you bring to the table? Now, these are questions where they just want to know your opinions about Google for startups. So do you think they help startups grow? Which statement best reflects your overall opinion and perceptions towards Google for startups? And then to what extent do you agree Google for startups is a diverse and inclusive environment? So, and then you just have to click on these things to say you agree, you don't agree, all of that. And that's the application, which is going to take a little bit longer than the other ones. But as I said earlier, I highly, highly, highly recommend please clicking on the success guides and reading through all seven of these pages and then also looking at the resources. If you got anything of value out of this video, beginning, middle, end, like, share, comment, subscribe, share, share, and share some more. Turn on that notification bell and hop on over into the Patreon and spend some time with all of these other entrepreneurs. I want to thank you. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Thank you for spending a little time with me virtually. And as always, I hope that you are having a beautiful day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you all next time.